What version of Minecraft is better for PvP? 1.8.9 or anything above that? Pass the combat update. In this video, we'll be finding out, going over the pros and cons of each PvP style. I personally prefer 1.8.9 PvP over the newer combat, though I started out using the PvP style after the combat update. I think there is a pretty valid argument to be made over each side, but I'm going to start with 1.8.9 first. Here are the cons of it. There are no shields to block with. If you are used to newer PvP, the bow feels just a bit off. You will have to majorly adjust your play style to accommodate things such as block hitting. It's very focused on clicks per second, meaning anyone with an auto clicker can instant kill you. If you have low ping, it's a lose almost every time, and some items have a more limited range than with the newer ones. Now for the pros of 1.8.9 PvP. The combat itself is more simplistic in nature. Learning to block hit can majorly reduce damage. If you know how to jitter or butterfly click, you're just set. I find strafing more easy on this version, and servers like Hypixel still accept 1.8.9. Buffs like strength are more powerful, I think, it just seems that way. Sharpness is OP, and you can sprint and still do crits. Next we're going to talk about the newer version's pros and cons of PvP. But first, now is the time in the video where I ask you to please subscribe, because the number next to my name is actually my life force, so... I'm running out. Please. Please, I beg of you- GET! GET! NO, PLEASE! PLEASE, I HAVE A- GET! NO, NO, PLEASE! PLEASE! I'm sorry for that minor interruption. Now, back to the video. First, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory. The Combat Update is the name for the Java Edition version 1.9, a major update released on Monday, February 29th, 2016. This update overhauled the combat system, among other additions and changes. The official name for the update, the Combat Update, was discovered on April 1st, 2015 by Reddit users 3D Dieters and several others independently, who found a QR code hidden in the snow falling pattern of the April Fool's 15W14A snapshot. Development on the combat update began at least a month before the Bountiful update was released. The development period was over twice as long as the development period for 1.8 at 576 days. 2015 became the first year where a major update to Minecraft Java Edition was not released. Snapshots began the day after 1.8.8 was released. 56 development snapshots were released, from 15W31A to 16W07B, making it the update with the most snapshots so far. The time between releases of 1.8 and 1.9 represent the longest time span between major updates, at 400, 545 days. 15 iterations of the launcher were released during this period, from 1.5.2 to 1.6.59. 1.8.9, which is the one we just covered, was also released during this period. <sighs> Why did you need to know all that? I, th I thought it was cool. Into the pros of 1.20, or anything above 1.9. It added the offhand slot for dual wielding weapons, which can be very useful for shooting special am ammo. There is now a damage indicator when you hit something. Uh, like, there's particles. There's five new splash potions. It added the mending enchantment, which can be useful in some combat situations. And it started supporting for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, and probably other IME languages. Now for the cons. They added the attack cooldown mechanic, which can severely decrease the number of hits you can get on someone. They massively nerfed the armor strength, and made buffs less powerful and debuffs more powerful. They added subtitles. I just I just thought I would add that in there because it is it is a con against all of humanity. Health regeneration is rebalanced. It was very overpowered in the earlier versions. Loot found in chests generated in the world is also rebalanced, and mob and player heights are slightly modified. That can just set you off just a little bit if you're used to 1.8.9 PvP. 
I don't think I have the right to decide which PvP is technically better, but since I've listed the pros and cons, I think you can decide for yourself. If you choose to use a PvP style after the combat update, great. If you choose to use 1.8.9 like I do, just as great. If you think I got some things wrong in this video, you might be right. So go po post your biased opinion down in the comments that I will definitely read so the algorithm tells other people to find my channel.